Hi guys, it's Crafty Mim. So, yes, me and Jeff are having a lot of fun with our new play toys, but it's too freaking cold to do anything. So I watch, I think I got this off of Scrappy Dabby Doo, I don't know. I can't remember her name, but this is kind of a cool technique. Or I don't know, or was it? Artie Mays. I don't know. Somebody. One of those guys. So, she was talking about having translucent paper. You can see through. See, you can see through that. This is a piece of coffee paper. Or copy paper. I'm sorry. Copy paper. That I printed on. Yeah, I did a print on. So, you can see through that. Okay, so, here's one right here. You can't see through it now. But, watch this. This is too flippin' cool. I had to order this. You get, I have, this is beeswax for wood seasoning beeswax. I got it actually off of Amazon. It was $8.99 for this little pot. But this should go a long way. So, I got this today. Yes, don't Forgive me, I don't know what's going on with me. I think I still have the pneumonia, it won't go away. So what do you do is, I don't know, whatever you want to, s matter of fact, let me tear this section out. And you take your beeswax and you just paint it on your paper. Now this beeswax is a lot wet, a lot more wet than what hers was. <laughs> hers was really, really dry. But she painted it on and as she put it on there, it was on there. So this becomes I'm gonna move this pot. I'm gonna take your heat gun. And melt it into your paper. Forgive me whoever I can't remember did this. I watch so many videos in a day, and I ping pong between Kimbo, Crafty Bean, um, Paper Outpost, um, oh my god, Arnie Mays, Bohemian Crafter, so many different people I watch and learn their techniques, and I want to share them. It's so much fun. Okay, so that should be in that paper. So I'm going to take my <laughs> toilet paper <laughs> and rub it off. Rub it down. We get all that excess wax off and then also help to get it into the paper. So there. Um, I do the other side. Looks like there's spots I missed. So I'll back around. Obviously, I don't need any more wax on my brush. It turns it into like a glassine paper or a paper wax, a wax paper. It's just so cool. I mean, and this, I crumpled it up and you can see the lines and the wax, which is so cool.
Okay, so this is not quite there yet. Why is it not quite there? You can still see through it. Um, see how see you can see through it? So we're gonna go back over a little bit more. I hope everybody's having a good day today. It's very cold here and windy. <laughs> I hate it. I want to go camping. <laughs> I got this new camper and my cousin hooked up his camper and said, and then put on Facebook, where are we going, Gail? Come on, let's go. <laughs> I'm like, you goofball. It's the middle of freaking winter. We ain't going anywhere yet. <laughs> I wish I could. That'd be cool. Me and Jeff were so wanting to just, because there's so many campgrounds, where we picked up the camper at last night. But we couldn't stay because my dog was here by herself. And there was nobody here to let her out. But we had to come home. We stayed up late sitting in the camper. <laughs> just celebrating. It was fun. All right. So... You can see all the wax on there. Yeah, that's a lot better. I mean, you can see if you were to put something behind it. See it? Isn't that cool? Now, if you let that dry a little bit, then you can crumple it like this, and it gives you that, like, wax paper look. Isn't that cool? I like, it's not even like paper anymore. It's like, it's dry. I mean, the wax doesn't come off on my hands like this one would. This one has to dry for a little bit. But it's just too cool because it's translucent. You can see through it. And it's, I don't know, it's just a cool technique. They can add to your, your um, scrapbooking, your journaling your junk journals or whatever. And I just keep heating it up and getting some of that excess wax off. Because when you heat it up, it soaks in and it also gets wet where you can wipe it off. I'll keep wiping it off. And this is pretty dry. And then I can take it, see there's no lines. You crumble it up. And then I'll take my bone folder. You see all the lines in that? That is so cool. It's just like glassine. Like the glassine bags. Got wax all over. But yeah, it's dry. There's nothing on my fingers. So that's my technique of the day I'm sharing that I learned. I love watching YouTube. I love all you guys out there. You guys are educating me so much on different techniques and things. Um, I just love it. I mean, anyway. Oh, I got these for my grandbabies. I collect these. My mom collected them since I was a baby and beyond. And when she passed, my brother snatched them all, and there was, I, I don't know how many she had, but he only gave me five or six of them. Now I have hundreds of them. But I found these on eBay for my granddaughters. Look at these guys, aren't they so cute? Little cutie babies. So I got one for Ada and one for Belle. So yeah, aren't they so cute? They got the little angel wings. They're just adorable. So little butt cracks <laughs> so anyway they don't have the numbers on them now that kind of bums me out usually if they're official if they're like the original they'll have numbers in red on them but they don't have them but that's okay I didn't pay top dollars for these 
as if they were the originals. But they're so cute. All right, guys. Have a good night. Stay warm. Thank you for watching this wax paper or whatever you call technique. All it is is brush, br brushing on some of this beeswax. Letting it dry. $8.99 for this little pot. This pot will last you a long way. So, oh, shoot. Y'all have a good night now. Please comment. Please subscribe. I got 356 subscribers. Keep it coming. Don't de describe with me. Don't take you away. Keep coming. <laughs> I love you all. Bye.